Fact to follow up segment tonight, you may remember last October, two members of the Minutemen group were invited to give a speech at Columbia University. Well, radical students disrupted that speech, and the Minutemen told us they felt very threatened by the group's actions. Columbia President Lee Bollinger said he would investigate. It took him almost six months, and he now has decided upon a punishment. President Bollinger says three students have received a disciplinary warning, and three more students a bigger warning. Now, this is reminiscent of the movie Animal House, where the rowdy students were put on double secret probation. Bottom line, Bollinger did nothing. Joining us now from Irvine, California, Jim Gilchrist, founder of the Minutemen, who was on stage during the protest. Now, I just want to set this up. Uh, Minutemen obviously want uh, border security. These people are open border anarchists. And you begin to speak. You were invited there. Tell me what happened to you exactly. Well, Bill, as I... Uh uh, assumed the stage, I got behind the podium, was speaking for about uh, 90 seconds when uh, it appeared two members charged the stage from my left, body slammed the podium, I jumped back, uh, and then about uh, 10 others, 12 others, uh, took over the stage. Two of them, I believe it was uh, Monique Dulles uh, and, and one other woman had a banner that said nobody is illegal or something like that. I couldn't really read the banner. Um, we stepped back. Security was nowhere to be found. It was a literal animal house like you referred to. Right. Um, and uh, although I'm smiling, I'm, I'm appalled that, that an Ivy League school would let something like this. this the now, did very you ever foundation. Feel, did you ever feel that they were going to hurt you? Or did they do anything to you directly? Did they speak to you or anything like that? Nothing but yelling, screaming, name-calling, pointing. I was looking at their hands. I was looking for any kind of a weapon, a pen that could be used as a knife, a rock, an egg, um, anything that be could be used as a weapon. I kept my hands down alongside my waist because I didn't want to present myself in a combative mode. Uh, mode. Uh, but I was ready to defend myself if I had to, Bill. I wasn't going to let somebody... All right, but nobody, nobody physically touched you or abused you verbally to your face. It was more like, let's disrupt this guy. We don't want to let him speak. Uh, correct. Of course, I had about six or seven members from the Republican Party there at the university who surrounded me and, and Dr. Corsi to uh, provide a cordon. All right, and uh, you had to leave right after that. I mean, that was the end of that. So they, they did yeah, succeed. Yeah, we were, we were shuttled right off the stage. Right, they did succeed in, in uh, disrupting the speech. Now... Um, Bollinger, who we feel is a fraud, and we've made that quite clear on this broadcast, he's lost control of the Columbia University, it's a fine school, um, but he doesn't have control over it. Um, this is another intrusion on him, and you know, he's a wimp, W-I-M-P. Uh, it's not an Ivy League word, but it's an accurate word. I mean, look at this kid. They have no respect for him. They never have. They do what they want up there. It's a far left campus. The faculty is generally irresponsible. It, uh, they've got a lot of Palestinian militants there. The journalism school has fallen apart. It's on and on and on. But this guy took six months to basically say, I'm not going to do anything to these kids, but warn them they better not do it again. And then in the newspaper, the Columbia newspaper, the woman you mentioned, Dolls, I think her name is, gloated. Yes. Gloated. They say, see? They're not going to do anything. Now, we, can, we own this campus. We can do what we want. So, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, this is the way it is at Columbia, Mr. Gilchrist, and other Ivy League schools and other colleges around the country. I'll give you the last word on it. I've canceled at Pomona College here in Pomona, California. I was supposed to speak on April 5th. I have canceled that that uh, presentation for the same reasons that I should have canceled Columbia. Yeah, you got to be careful because of sir. anarchist mentality right. on the universities, and it's a shame. And this you have to be very, very careful this. because some, you know, these people, some of them are crazy, and they'll hurt you. <laughs> So you got to be very, very careful and controlled in where you go and what you do. And it's a shame. It really is. Mr. Gilchrist, we appreciate Thank you, you taking Bill. the time. Good luck to you.